I am Gurcharan Das, the author of The Difficulty of Being Good on the Subtle Art of Dharma. And with me this evening is a dear friend, Nandan Nilikani, to discuss my book with me. Welcome, Nandan. Thank you, Gurcharan. It's, it's really great to be here and I want to compliment you on a truly wonderful book. And what I really appreciate is your own uh, personal journey. I think uh, there's really no need. You, you know, you've done your corporate bit, you had written India Unbound, a bestseller, but the fact that you went back in some sense to school and went back to basics to study Sanskrit, to study the origins of Mahabharata and then come out with this wonderful book is truly something great. The fact that you stepped out of your comfort zone and went back, I think that's truly something great. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, what I really appreciate a few things. One is I think, you know, for the liberal Hindu who, who's trying to strike meaning, he wants to be Hindu but he doesn't want his religion to be co-opted by anybody else. I think this is a refreshing book that helps us to, you know, really get back to those kind of issues. And also those of us in India who are trying to see what it takes to build a fairer, juster society, I think your book provides an important uh, guidepost. And also I think in a world where we are uh, sort of rendered apart by fundamentalistic kind of behavior, the whole people taking absolute positions, the clash of civilizations, I think the fact that the, that life is ambiguous, the fact that life is complex, the fact that life is contextual. I think you have done a great job in marrying histo the history of the Mahabharata to the contemporary issues. Well, uh, thank you. Um, the, one of the driving forces uh, in this book really was a personal journey, a search for dharma, yeah. for an adult male in the 21st uh, century. And, and, and clearly, I was disturbed by the way the fact that the world was turning fundamentalist. Mm -hmm. That there was too much certainty. Yeah, everybody, everybody seems to be... Uh, everybody had an answer. Yeah. And what was, to me, the most rewarding experience in the Mahabharata, and the most humbling one, mm -hmm. was its lack of certainty. Yeah. That it uh, actually... Uh, left you more with questions than answers. And in a sense, that's why this is a wonderful book for its time, to make us realize how human we really are. Uh, the other thing that uh, drove this book, Nandan, is the concern that you and I share with the state of governance in the country. When I heard the news of your uh, joining the government, to this wonderful job uh, to give us all an identity number, mm -hmm. I, I thought, you know, hooray, here is a project which will eventually have a huge impact on uh, governance. Mm -hmm. And by governance, you know, I don't mean the minister who's caught with a bribe. Mm -hmm. By governance, I mean our daily interaction with the state. Yeah, right. And every interaction is fraught with moral hazard. And, and, and so, uh, really, it's, it's a very common quest. And I have no doubt that the Mahabharat will uh, give us the answers for it. The answers will come precisely from the work that you are doing and the, 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 the very patient effort. We know the answers, but the question is no longer the what, it's the how. Yeah, absolutely. It's the delivery absolutely. of the... Yeah. You know, I think uh, uh, that's really what made me take up this assignment, because the more I thought about it, I felt if we really want to bring about that change in, in public governance, we have to look at how we deliver public services. And you have written so much about this topic, and ultimately it's about uh, uh, making sure that the del public service delivered to the right people uh, yeah. with the least amount of uh, you know rent and so on and so forth. And then the other side too is how do we make it inclusive? Because uh, what what we discovered was it's the poor who are suffering the most from lack of identity. You know, the people like us are fine. We have our passports and we have a credit card, we have our club memberships and so forth. But the poor who are working in houses uh, or who come as migrants from a village somewhere in you know, Eastern UP or Bihar, yeah. they have no identity. They can't get a passport, they can't get a ration card, they can't get a, a bank account. Yeah. And they are the people who need to be included. And that was really the yeah. driving force for
for this. And yeah. now, you know, to link with this and with my book, yeah. the, 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 the dharma, if we want to lift dharma in our society, yeah. I'm not suggesting by reading this book or the Mahabharata, you're going to lift it. Mm-hmm. But because there is a moral failure involved in the f- delivery, mm-hmm. what we do need now, I think, I don't know if you'll agree with me, mm-hmm. but we in, instead of economic reforms, we really need to have administrative reforms, judicial reforms, Absolutely police not. reforms. And many societies which did not, which were as corrupt as we are, and which we are, which are so much better today, they did these reforms. Oh, absolutely. And if we do those reforms, then the level of dharma... Yeah, in the society. Yeah, because, you know, one of the meanings in the, in the book of the Mahabharata, one of the meanings of dharma is actually civic virtue. Yeah. So, in fact, that's <coughs> the aspect of it which I really uh, think deeply about because by having just economic reforms and not addressing these other things, you end up creating a bipolar society, you know, because those who have the skills and the uh, opportunities will do well, but those who don't will not do well. And, you know, we can't really create that kind of thing. And in some sense, my taking up this job, job is also a dharmic thing yeah. because, you know, uh, I felt that here I was, I had benefited hugely from uh, uh, the reforms in this country. In some sense, we thought of Infosys as a child of reforms. I had benefited hugely from public education in the IITs. And I felt that, you know, why should some people have do this purposely well through a poetry and some don't? And so sometimes this is also my, my dharmic journey to figure out what is my purpose in life. That's a good thought, Nandan, and we'll come back in a minute.